Hello everybody, welcome back to Watch Life, episode 23. Now I'm in central London and <laughs> we're moving up in the world guys. I'm meeting a private seller tonight in the Goring Hotel, which is like the fanciest hotel in the UK, I think, maybe. I think it's like, I think it's the royal family's favorite hotel. And actually I think Kate Middleton stayed here with her family the night before she married Prince William. Anyway, I'm picking up a black dial steel sky dweller. So, oh, nearly crashed. Anyway, like I said, I'm picking up a black dial sky dweller. It is for sale as of now, so please do get in touch. Underscore watch life on Instagram or Phil Reed X on Instagram. Uh, I'm then gonna go home. I'm gonna show you the other stock that I have available. And uh, do you know what? I don't think I'll be able to film in here, but I'll, I'll try my best. So yeah, I don't know if this is a little bit ambitious or not, so bear with me. One of the hardest things with running a watch biz, well, running any business, especially a watch business, is managing cash flow. Now, I have a GMT4 rose gold root beer that is, it's a lot of money and it's, it's tying up a lot of my cash. And so that means that I can't like, I can't buy other watches as, as frequently as I would like because my, my cash pool is a lot smaller because a lot of it is tied up in that one watch. So I've been offered an AP Royal Oak 15400 white dial, so exactly the same as this, 2019, and I cannot turn it down. I just cannot, with, with everything that's happening with AP at the moment, I, I just don't wanna turn it down, but I can't, I can't buy it because I don't have enough cash in the bank to be able to buy that and keep all the other stock, Skydweller, Datejust, Day Day, GMT. I, I need to sell, I need to sell the Root Beer GMT is what I'm saying. So now I literally have, I literally have today to be able to sell that watch to get cash to buy the AP tomorrow. So I'm now frantically trying to find a buyer at a good price where I still make profit on the root beer. But I mean, I'm, I'm lucky and fortunate that I have a good network of people um, that can help out with this sort of thing. But it's one of the things if you're starting, you know, if you're considering to start a, a watch business yourself, cash flow is very, very important. Anyway, I, I said I would show you this black dial sky dweller i think you'll all know how crazy the the blue dial sky dweller is going at the moment but this do you know what it's a good looking watch. it's my favorite thing to say it's a good looking watch okay, it's 2020 it's unworn it is uh yeah full set everything comes with it so if you're interested please do let me know you can have this watch if you would like it price point it's going to change by the time i post this but 20 to 22k that might be really, really low by the time I post it, I don't know, but if you're interested, hit me up, let me know, DM me on Instagram, and let's work out a deal. It might not be 22K, it, I just need to make that very clear. Prices do change. I also have a uh, Datejust 2, if anybody is interested. This is a blue dial, uh, Datejust 2, 2016, box and papers. No, it's not, it's a black dial. <laughs> Day just to let me know if you're interested. Okay, but before I head out and try and somehow sell this root beer, I need to go see a friend because <laughs> some of this guy's watches, oh my God, unbelievable. I'll show you right now exactly what I mean. It's just, it, it's not even funny. Just flip the camera. This is the guy, this is the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wear the Aquanaut and pretend it's mine. I'm back with the mysterious watch collector who you didn't see in last in the last video because he uh, he went on a walk when I was showing you this watch roll. Well, he's back again this week and he's brought three different watches for you guys to take a look at. And <laughs> I didn't think the, the last three watches could be beaten, but let me tell you, these three watches right here are some of, well, two of them are incredibly rare. One of them is, I think it's probably one of 600. Patek 5711, Sunburst, olive green dial. They, I, I, I don't have any words. I, I, I'm actually shocked that I am in the presence of this watch right now because, like I said, one of 600, it's, it's that tier down from the Tiffany dial, Patek 5711. It, this was in production for one year. I think it came out April 2021. Not many were made. This is as about as good as you get in the watch world, ladies and gents. So yeah, I hope you're I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing right now. Probably a more common watch that you might see a little bit more often is the Rolex Daytona Full Platinum, but this is a diamond dial version, which is slightly more rare, a little bit more expensive. Um, 
Oh, also, I didn't mention the Patek is probably like £700,000, by the way. So, um, not cheap. Um, but yeah, this, this is probably 150k, roughly. Um, not too sure. I've not looked recently. But let me tell you, this is one hell of a chunky watch. It's, it's a hefty one. It's really, really heavy. The, the full platinum is, uh, is something else. It really is. This is a full white gold GMT. But instead of the meteorite dial that I showed you last week, this is the stunning blue dial version. And do you know what? I do really like the meteorite dial. I do, but ah, there's something about the blue that just, it just looks incredible. It really, really does. And this, is, this isn't a watch you see often either. You know, the meteorite is super rare, but even the blue dial white gold, you, you, you don't see it often. But yeah, none of these are for sale. If they are, I will let you know. Um, I don't think he wants to sell them there, that's the thing. Um, but yeah, I, uh, again, this is just a reminder for me to get a move on and start buying some bigger and better watches, to be honest, so that I can offer you you guys you know, this level of watch, but I'll get there one day, I will. <laughs> right, I'm heading to Hatton Garden to see if I can sell this root beer. Wish me luck, I need some money, I'm poor. <laughs> I hope that you like this, but you probably won't. You think you're cooler than me. Long story short, guys, I didn't sell the GMT root beer. I, did, I couldn't find a buyer for it, but the guy selling the AP. Um, isn't able to sell me the AP anymore, so it's not as urgent to sell the GMT root beer, but I think I might actually trade the Full Rose root beer for a 2018 Hulk and a... Tw no, a 2018 Hulk and a 2017 Panda Daytona? I can't remember exactly, but is that a good deal? A Hulk and a Panda for a GMT root beer? Maybe it is. So my, I might do that. Um, I need to go to Manchester. I've sold a, a two-tone Wimbledon, 41 mil. I need to go to Manchester to drop it off. But before I do, I had a parcel come. And um, I think you guys will be interested in this. So this is a company called Cased in Time. They basically have their own watch cases. And instead of using these watch coffins, which aren't that easy to get hold of and they're quite expensive, what you can do is you can use one of these very pretty watch cases. All you do, put your watch in there, do that, zip it up, and if you go to the gym, if you go to, for a swim, if you go on holiday, if you go golfing, wherever, you're in a locker room, or you just wanna put it in your bag, like this, the, the, this is it. Check out Cased in Time, that's their name. Go to Instagram, buy some of these guys. They're cool, they're really, really cool. So yeah, um, other than that, I, uh, yeah. Happy at the moment, guys. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Um, please like, subscribe if you're new. I'm gonna go to Manchester. I'm also going to the Man City Fulham game, so I'll try film that as well. Okay, I'm packed. Let's go. Okay, just arrived into Manchester. Need to find the guy who has bought the watch somewhere. Of course it's raining because we're in Manchester. Uh, where is he, where is he, where is he? Let me find him. Just leave this here if that's all right. Thank you. Good to see you both. Well, Manchester's been fun. Um, I dropped off the two-turn Wimbledon like I showed you previously. The game was good. I don't support Man City, but good game. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I do need to pick up one more watch today, but I need to go back to London to do so. Okay. I have also picked up today a full steel Wimbledon date just, so Jubilee and fluted bezel. I'd say if you are after a investment watch at the moment that's at a good price, something under 15K, I'd say either this, a sub, a Yachtmaster, maybe a Sea Dweller. But yeah, the, these are definitely in the list for watches, you know, under 15K. And also in my last video, I showed you, I teased you with this enormous Rolex box. I'm gonna show you right now what is inside. It's honestly enormous. It is an 18 karat yellow gold day date with diamond bezel and diamond dial. It ain't a cheap watch. It's a very flashy watch. You've just gotta be that kind of guy to wanna wear this watch. What can I say? I mean, to be fair, this has already sold, so it's not even, 
on the market anymore. I also want to show you, this. Is, I find this really interesting and something that I only learned recently. So with the Rolex boxes, you have different sizes. Well, I knew there were different sizes of boxes, right? But I didn't realize there were so many. So here, I'm going to show you the sizes of three different watches. So Datejust, Wimbledon, Full Rose GMT, Root Beer, and the Yellow Gold Day Date. And there really is a big size difference in... Uh, in these in these boxes 